Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some plants that made me really happy throughout the summer and that are kind of grown well. As we all know, the summer is time when I put the plants outside in the greenhouses and when it's the hottest, so things kind of do well. So let me just get into this and show you what's been growing and what's just been looking really good. So we're gonna start with this thumbnail picture because honestly it deserves it. Okay, okay, okay. Anthurium Regal. First, look at this up close. You probably understand why this is one of my favorites for the summer. Crazy how you can get something like this from something like this. This is a leaf that I got with nothing crazy. As we see, I put it inside and it's already having a bunch of these marks on the back, not the prettiest, but this one has unfurled and opened outside, I mean inside, and it just, it looks really, really good. So that's exactly why I love it so much. So that would be the front, and then you turn it around, and we have this, we'll show it on black maybe, yeah. This kind of pinkish, kind of burgundy, Lovely, lovely back. I also took some incredible photos of this But this is the 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 most perfect leaf that I got In a very long time and the most beautiful interior leaf I have I have gotten ever because well this one has Thrips damage and it's not that big, but this is just so pretty <gasps> The second one I absolutely need to show you is smaller than this one, don't get me wrong, but it's still kind of crazy. This, and let's not even beat around the bush, this is an Alocasia Mellow. This is ugly, but it's, it's, it's a bloom, so ignore that. This is an Alocasia Mellow, I think you know what this is, but simply this leaf by itself already gets this privilege to be in a video like this. As we can see, no roots. It had water roots, I put it in Leca and they all died, so that's amazing. But another close-up on this. And the second one that I have to show you is the same plant, but it's a little a child of this plant. I got a few corms in this pot that you just saw and I grew all of them, but this one, this one is a little bit special because it is sport variegated. Now, it only has one variegated leaf, one variegated leaf, and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try my best. You can see the variegation, hopefully. If not, I'll put a picture up here. It's so cool that you can get variegation just like this, it's crazy. But it's kind of, it's nothing that you should be like, oh, I'm gonna sell it for a thousand bucks, no. But it's cute and it's special and that's why, that's why we have plants, because they're cute and they're special, right? Now, we have to move on, should I even mention, no, this one hasn't made me happy, no. You don't deserve a spot this year, sorry. Okay, we have this. So this is an asparagus fern, as you probably know it already. It's just the size of it. I have I have shown this in some other videos, but literally I have to show it again because check out the size of this and I can compare it with the one that I've had growing inside. So this one was grown in a greenhouse and then this one was grown inside. So, oh, that's so cool. Oh wait, the color is different also. Wow, this one is so much lighter than this one. If I turn them around. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So this one has been exposed to much more light. And this one has just been not in so perfect conditions. But yeah, this is what humidity does compared to this. Although I prefer the color on this one, but the size of this is, you know, it's worked hard and it paid off because this is like a little tree, like a little bush. I can't wait for this to get bigger. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Okay, another one from my greenhouse, surprise, surprise, is this philodendron green Congo, I think. I'm gonna show you the new leaf, obviously. So this is what has just opened up, but I have bought this as a discounted plant because I've been looking at this in the store 
for quite a few weeks, if not months. And I've been like, you know what, it's cute, but I have a green version, kind of. And, you know, nothing crazy. But then it was reduced to like a few bucks, or just like five bucks. And I was like, you know what, it's time. And I got it, because it's cute, and it's like dark, and okay, maybe that's not the best way to show you. Yeah, yeah, basically. And it's this, not a crawling, but it's like this low, kind of big growth philodendron. I, I, what's, what's, oh my god, I can't talk. Sorry, it's one of those days. But I just wanted to show you that purely because it's kind of cool. I don't know, I like it a lot. Okay, then, uh... This one needs no introduction. This this is shown in every video. I'm I'm aware, but I'm sorry. But I have to show it again. The update on the flower. This is the flower on my philodendron. No, my anthurium crystallinum, the big one, right? So that's it. And and the flower started producing the little droplets, but I'm still waiting for pollen so I can collect it, and then I'm gonna repot this into an actual aeroid mix and then it should be happy okay but also this leaf coming out in my care not bad oh you see my lovely hair you see how i do my hair bury them you are very mindful another uh crystalline and this one is grown by me but i just really needed to okay i really need to show you this plant look at it for a little bit and tell me that these three leaves don't look like literally different plants. So, these three leaves are all the same plant, but like, if we take a look at this one, it's all just kind of weird, you know, like weird fold, very flat, not very contrast veins, as you can see, kind of mid, really, a little bit ugly. Then we had this second leaf, which is honestly not bad at all. And if you look at it from the side, very flat. The colors are good. And then the newest leaf is the one that's really pretty. But this one is from a side very like much more texturized, much more like like this. Yeah. And also the colors on this. Yes, it's the last one that unfurled, but also the color is still this kind of bronzy brown from the back i really really enjoy this and it's just it has a little bit of red in here and it's obviously not a crystallinum red because those are expensive but yeah that's really interesting to ask me also one thing look at this sinus you see there is like there is space in here and then the newest sinuses are actually not close but there is another one in the back so there's two of these flaps and they overlap, so I had to just put one in front. My little rent on this crystallinum is finished. Another thing that has been really just... It's kind of sad what happened. So this alocasia used to be really pretty. And even a few days ago, this was really plump and really like... Oh, oh. It was really beautiful even a few days ago and I repotted it into bigger Lekka pot and all the roots rotted away and now we're left with this. Once again, I don't know what is up with this Lekka repots but they seem to always just kill my plants. If you have the same experience, please tell me what you have learned or just cry with me. But this is the plant. Honestly, the leaves are really really gorgeous and I don't see this plant as much as probably it should be shown, but yeah, you see, it's not, mm, it's not that pretty. Anymore. I'm so sorry, but it used to be pretty for like a few months, and now it's just not. This is my Monstera Velvet Monstera. <laughs> there is ID, but I will not remember it right now. Uh, this was grown in the greenhouse, and then this new leaf, I'm gonna zoom you in, is a bigger one compared to this last ones, as you can see. But this one was grown inside in room humidity, so this was not grown in a greenhouse anymore, not in my prop box, no nothing. So that's why I'm so happy, because yeah, you can see the leaves are a little bit 
shriveled a little bit, but it doesn't need a watering yet because it's pretty heavy. And I just keep it on this DIY moss ball with this over it so it keeps the humidity in. And it just keeps growing new leaves, which is really, really good. And it is rooting in the moss ball as far as I'm aware. Now that I'm looking at the stem, I think the stem is actually getting thicker. Slowly but surely, this is going to get a little more mature. And if this is the right plant, this plant gets split leaves, but they're velvety, so it's like extra crazy monstera. Like, I love this monstera, although it's just green, but it's insane. So, yeah. Apipremnum, Orium, Marble, or Snow Queen. And it has been outside, it has been recently transferred into this pot with this. This. But the reason I'm showing you it is because, well, the leaves are so bright that it's like not even the normal marble, like this would be like a normal marble queen, I guess, variegation, and then this is the kind of variegation that I get. And this is basically almost fully white. So I guess the plant figured that out because this newest leaf is much greener than, you know, this white one. But that's also really cool because I can't wait for this to start growing on my moss ball. These get so huge and so beautiful. I need to get a mature pothos soon. Soon, because this is really cool. We're gonna finish this little video off with a Monstera Adansoniae Saspicilaniata. You probably know, but this is what the leaves look like. Except if they grew a little bit weird, they grow like this. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. This has been repotted recently and it is now in my inside environment. No added humidity, no nothing. But it's it seems to be growing well. And I can't wait for this to keep going up again because I used to have a really big one and now it's sadly gone. But this are it's babies, so do what your mother did. I am sorry for this like shorter video when nothing crazy is happening but there were a few cool things that I just needed to share and also I got some things to study and also I got some other things to do. I have some projects that I'm working on and well I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!